Hello everyone. So this is the demo for the security testing training sessions which we will do later. So this is something which will tell you what we are going to cover in our security testing training. So it's kind of a roadmap. Before starting I would like to tell you that uh, security testing professionals are very rare to find and if you have skills uh, which will help you to perform security testing and you can act as an individual contributor or you can do your security testing of your own or freelance or do this testing with other kinds of testing in which you are already expert in right now. So I'll introduce you to the penetration testing, security testing and we'll identify the need and the use cases and we'll also talk about our basic use cases in this demo session. We'll talk about all kind of pen testing, that is penetration testing and its techniques, uh, black box, white box, gray box. And we will also talk about security testing basic concepts, uh, confidentiality, integrity, authentication, authorization, non-repetition, availability, resilience, etc. And you will also know all kind of security testing, vulnerability, security, penetration, risk assessment, and then we will also do this kind of assessments and auditing as well as ethical hacking which will we cover uh, a little of ethical hacking. We will have a different uh, uh, training for ethical hacking in case you guys are interested. But for now this is uh, what we are going to cover. We'll talk about all the terminologies and cryptography techniques and encoding and de decoding in this uh, training so that you guys are aware of and cryptography is a very important part and its techniques are also important. So what we have in industry these days is mostly API, web applications, databases and middleware and everything is inside them or either uh, used by them or they are being exposed for other applications or other components to get used. So We'll talk about all the uh, security testing for all these uh, components. Then we will talk about the protocols as it's very important to get good grasp on, grasp on the, these protocols. Uh, STDP, STDPS, FTP, FTP, LDAP. So <clears throat> it's important to have the grasp on this because uh, we have to talk about all the packets for example, so this is just an example we have given and we'll also talk about all other kind of protocols as well. So like this is something which we are going to talk about HTTP and HTTPS but we'll talk uh, in detail for other protocols as well as we will actually perform security testing based on different protocols using different tools and techniques. So there are uh, top 10 risks uh, which are given by Open Web Application Security Protocol team that is what we call as OWASP and uh, we will list down all these top 10 risks here and these changes every year. So uh, before <clears throat> going further I like to tell you that uh, there might be many other uh, tutorials or videos which you will see having all these details but uh, uh, none of them actually cover the industry level uh, testing or the practical knowledge or how actually we perform the security testing in any of the industries and <clears throat> no one will talk about all these 10 uh, risks top 10 risks in that detail uh, and the <clears throat> use cases for them won't be delivered but we'll talk about test cases and use cases like uh, spamming, how to identify spam attacks on content forms or any other websites, network devices, exploitations and encryptions and uh, data transfer. So these are very generic test cases and a very basic one. We'll talk uh, about more complicated one. There are some more here like hard-coded data, sensitive data, Verifying information using cookies and like finding vulnerabilities, ports, and all these things. So, you will get to know why we do that and how we protect our applications or our components 
from uh, these kind of problems or these kind of attacks. So there are multiple tools, Zap, Burp, IBM Security Web App Scanner, Firefox Temper Data, etc, etc. You can see a list of them here. So uh, I personally am using Zap. It's a freeware by OWASP, which actually released top 10 uh, uh, security risk every year. And uh, so we'll be talking about Zap most of the time. And in case you guys want to uh, work on different tools, or uh, we can uh, always support that, that as well. So latest version might have changed now. Needs Java 7, have all these features like scanners of different kinds, fuzzer, spider attacks or REST API and Zap and ZJBehave is one of the key feature which it is it is having as well which uh, makes it different from other tools as well. So yeah, we'll be using the, uh, this tool in this credit. So this is all about uh, the <coughs> demo now. So we look forward for the feedback. Thank you.